now let's get back to the results of New Hampshire's midterm elections. One of the bigger races here in the Granite State was the race for U.S. Senate. And this was a close contest between Senator Jean Shaheen and her challenger, Scott Brown. But in the end, Shaheen pulled ahead to win her second term as U.S. Senator. Ray Brewer joins us live. He's in our studio now with reaction from both sides. Scott Brown called Senator Shaheen just before midnight to concede, bringing to a close a hard fought and expensive race for the U.S. U.S. Senate. It was back and forth as the votes were tallied in the race for the U.S. Senate. Challenger right. Scott Brown even briefly pulling ahead. But well, then, as you, more votes very, came very in, much. the race turned in favor of the incumbent. And Senator Jean Shaheen was able to deliver her victory speech around midnight, telling supporters she was so proud to once again represent New Hampshire and saying party labels will not matter. What will matter is passing legislation to help the middle class. I promise you I will work with anyone in the Senate, Democrat, Republican, Independent, to get things done to help New Hampshire's working families and our small businesses. Shaheen also thanked all those who ran, both winners and losers, for helping to make the democracy strong. That included her challenger, Scott Brown, who conceded around quarter to 12. Brown telling supporters while there were still votes to be counted, they didn't think they could make up the difference. He added that he had kept his word, fought a clean race, and that during the race he had learned a lot about New Hampshire. I have a fantastic appreciation for the diversity of the people, the culture, the geography. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing a lot of skiing this winter. Brown says he has no political plans for the future, that he is going to take some time off, and is also looking forward to playing the guitar and working to get Kelly Ayotte reelected in 2016. Now, in order to get things done, Senator Shaheen will have to work with the Republicans as they will control both the Senate and the House in the next session of Congress. Reporting live, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.